Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christy. This is Christy's Corner where I do all things Harry Potter, makeup, Disney, DIYs, uh, 5Ks, keto, etc. Um, today's video is very much of a lifestyle beauty video. So if that's not your thing and you are more into Disney, go ahead and skip this video. If you are into beauty products, which a lot of you are, because I do, live streams every Thursday night that involve beauty, 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 and makeup, stick around. This video is for you. So today's video is a review and um, application video where I am going to apply this product to my face and show you how to use it. So it's like a tutorial um, and it's my review of the product in general. So that the review part will be at the end. Obviously I can't review it without putting it on my face. And at the time of recording this intro, I have not put it on my face yet. <laughs> um, so it is the Anai, I am probably gonna butcher this name. It's A-N-A-I and then A-R-U-I. It's a clay mask in rose. It brightens, moisturizer, moisturizes, and anti-aging. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of information before we get into it. So just dis disclaimer, I received this product for free. It has a $20 value. And upon completion of my tutorial review, I will get $10 commission. So I have to have that disclaimer in here just to make sure that you know that I am being con compensated for trying this product out. <laughs> it's A-N-A-I space R-U-I, not A-R-U-I. So it's a um, natural product and it repairs your skin. It is not clinically proven to repair any kind of like issues you may have with your skin. It just naturally repairs, if that makes sense. Um, it's dedicated to provide natural skincare products with vegan based formula derived in from plants in scientific Swiss laboratories and all products are carefully manufactured with high quality clinical ingredients. Um, it'll help enhance your skin beauty and embrace confidence every day. Um, so I'm gonna, that's the information the company gave me. I will have a link down below for a direct link to the product. And um, yeah, <laughs> uh, so the ingredients are water, clay, um, rose flower extract, rose hemp oil, jojo, jojo bee, jojo eye oil, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Root extract, seed, uh, seed oil, um, papaya, fruit extract, collagen. And so the, there's a disclaimer, after cleansing, apply a small amount evenly onto the face, leave on for 15 to 20 minutes to dry completely and then gently remove and rinse face with water. So what I'm going to do is I will go to the bathroom. So we'll have a, a location change in this video and I'm gonna wash my face and then I'm going to apply it. And about halfway through while it's drying, I'll come back to the camera and then um, we'll also wash it off together. So my face will be cleansed when you see this. Just a little disclaimer right now, I have a little bit of breakout going on my chin, um, probably from my vacation recently where I was eating not so healthy and my skin has broken out from it and it's in the process of healing. So I will have a couple of little red spots down on my face. It will not be from this product. I just wanted to get that little disclaimer because I don't want people to be like, oh, I'm not using that product. It's got, she's got red spots after it. You'll see it before. Um, all right. Uh, so here's a little disclaimer. It also says, while many of the ingredients in the product have healing properties, it's not intended to treat or cure any form of skin condition, which is what I mentioned a few minutes ago. Um, for external use only, if irritation occurs, discontinue use immediately. A store in cool, dry place out of direct sunlight. Uh, I keep this in my bathroom, not in direct sunlight. Um, usually it's the same temperature throughout my house unless we're taking a hot shower or something. Uh, but in the it's mainly a cool place. So this is the packaging. It came in an Amazon package because they do sell on Amazon. And I'm gonna open this 
up. I told, like I said, this is a $20 product. Um, and I got it for free. So here is the packaging right here. And it comes with a little spatula and it's pink inside, obviously. Um, I did open this, but I haven't pulled the tab off all the way yet. I opened it just kind of see the texture and smell it. It doesn't smell like a rose. It kind of smells like a, any regular clay mask you may have. Like if you've used a clay mask before, they all pretty much smell the same unless they have menthol in them. So um, it doesn't smell like rose. It just smells like a clay mask. And that is what the packaging looks like. So um, let's go ahead and get on with this uh, review and I'll see you at the end. All right, we're officially in the bathroom, ready to wash our face. I'm not gonna mention what face wash I use because this video is a, a um, tutorial and review for this face mask and has nothing to do with whatever face wash I'm using. So the first thing I do is obviously I tie my hair behind my head um, because I'm gonna be filming later. I'm not pulling it up in a bun and messing up like my part, I'm just, gonna pull it back a little bit um so the first thing i do is actually i use one of these like this one's the original makeup eraser towel but you can get all different kinds um anywhere really and you just put warm water on it and you wipe off your makeup it does not cleanse your face it removes the makeup in case you don't want to use makeup remover or don't have it Did a little pat dry on my face and just to pat just to kind of pat it off and now we're gonna open up this container and like I said a little bit ago you uh, apply a thin layer and leave it on 15 to 20 minutes so let's get started I'm going to use I like to use everything in the container so I'm actually going to use some of this stuff off of the lid. I don't want to waste everything. Anything, obviously I'm not using the whole container today, but I don't want to waste anything. So I'm taking it off the lid. And I scrape it on my face like that. And then I rub it in. I like lightly put it on with my fingertips. Um, some people probably use the spatula but I find that it leaves lines on all over it and I feel like it gets smoother with uh, applying it with your finger. But to each their own. I just use the spatula to get it out of the container so my fingers don't contaminate the container. And then I rub it on. So this is a thin layer so I'm thinning this out as much as possible. And avoid obviously the eyes and the mouth and the up your nose. You don't want it up your nose. All right, so that's my thin layer. We're gonna let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'll check back in in about 10 minutes. I can already tell you that it's kind of burning my face. Um, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do, but we will see how it looks when it's done. Hopefully the uh, burning is normal. Um, I have some masks that's burnt my face before. So hopefully it's normal. Right now, I'm actually going to go take a picture so I can post this to Instagram as well. All right, so I'm checking back in and the um, burning that I felt left after about a minute, maybe two at the most. And now it's just drying like a regular mask would, like any kind of other like clay masks or anything like that. It's just pink. Um, it smells like a regular mask. And we're going to see how my skin feels when it's done. So we've got about seven more minutes left. We're all dry now. We're gonna wash our face.
All right, it's cleaned off. Um, I'm gonna take you back over to my desk so we can go over the results. Okay, so to go over how I liked the, how this uh, mask was, I'll say it was much easier to wash off than most masks that I've used, so that was good. It wasn't like real hard, and most of the time I have to scrub my face. It left my face feeling smooth, um, slightly dry, but not as dry as most mud masks or clay masks. So uh, the dryness was just taken care of with putting moisturizer on. I did apply my moisturizer because I'm about to put some makeup on and I usually let my makeup sit for about 20 minutes before I apply makeup. Um, so also it leaves like a little residue in your sink. So rinse out your sink, but like again, most clay masks do. So I really feel like this is probably a good added value. It's $20. Again, I did receive this for free and on completion of my review, I get $10. So I am pretty much being paid to review this product. But in terms of um, would I purchase this mask? I purchase clay masks all the time. I like clay masks. Um, I don't like how dry they make my face feel. And in terms of dryness, this one was a lot less than pretty much every single clay mask I've tried. So yes, I do find this a good value to purchase and use on your face. I like the color, it's pink, it's interesting. Um, most clay masks are green or black, sometimes kind of like a gray tint. Um, I like the pinkness of it. It makes me think of like that Laffy Taffy, pink Laffy Taffy, like you could eat it, don't eat it. <laughs> and you can definitely smell like it doesn't need to be eaten. It smells like a clay mask. Um, but it has like that appeal to it, kind of like lappy tappy coloring. It's really um, aesthetically pleasing. Um, and I don't know if a lot of people go for packaging and aesthetically pleasing things, but I personally like the products that I'm purchasing to not just be good quality, but also aesthetically pleasing. So for me, this would be uh, I would purchase. And considering you can get it on Amazon, that's also a bonus. You don't have to go to different places. If you like to purchase everything on Amazon, you're golden. The links will be down in the description below, so you can go check it out if you're interested. And uh, that is my review. Um, again, I did receive this product for free for review. I always have to put that disclaimer out there. All right, guys, if you're interested in the product, let me know. I wanna see if you get it. Uh, let me know what you think about it. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. Bye now.